The progressive revolution doesn't stop when the live show ends. Join the home of progressives and become a TYT member today. Click the link below. Richard Ojeda is running in West Virginia. He's a Democrat. It's the third congressional district. Now, uh, normally the way that uh, these races work is if you're running in a red state like West Virginia and Donald Trump won that state by over 40 points, uh, the conventional wisdom for Democrats is run Republican light. So go towards the Republicans and pretend you are one. That is not the route that Richard Ojeda has chosen. Bless his heart. So I'm about to show you a series of ads which are incredibly aggressive. They match our slogan here at TYT, too strong. Now you think, well, I mean, are they really too strong? Hold, hold. Now, uh, and at the end, we've got an exclusive for you guys. His new ad out in this race, you're gonna love every one of these. Let's start out nice and easy. Let's show you an ad that normally Democrats wouldn't run, and I'll explain why. Let's watch. I'm Richard Ojeda. One huge drug company, McKesson, has dumped over five million pain pills onto a small pharmacy right here in Logan County alone. And they've made millions off of pushing their pain pills. They get away with this because they grease the pockets of the members of Congress. But make no mistake about it, I don't want their money. They need not darken my doorstep. And I will have no problems throwing drug company lobbyists out of my office. I approve this message because I'm sick and tired of watching our politicians sell us out. Damn right you are, Richard. All right, army of one indeed. All right, now we're just getting warmed up. Now, what did he do there that is uh, uh, forbidden in democratic circles normally? Uh, first of all, he talked about a specific company. Whoa, 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 they might donate to us, what are you doing? Well, I don't, he said, I don't care, I don't want them to donate to me. And I love that line, I don't want them to darken my doorstep. Mm, there you go, okay. Second thing that's a no-no for democratic elite and establishment is, uh, don't talk about corruption. <laughs> Ojeda did not get that memo. He's talking about a corruption in almost every single ad. That's how you win. Now, guys, we're going to find out who's right and who's wrong. This guy's running an actual populist campaign. And by the way, you don't have to agree with him on every issue. I don't agree with him on every issue. But there is a litmus test. If you're wondering, what's the litmus test? Corruption. You're either corrupt, you take the corporate money and you do their bidding, or you are not corrupt and you actually represent your constituents, and your constituents are different than me. They're in West Virginia, they might have different views on guns or other issues. That's that's not important, it's a democracy. Of course they're gonna have slightly different issues than you would in California, New York, or anywhere else, right? The question is, are you an honest actor and are you willing to represent them? And Ojeda has stepped up, but like I said, just getting started. Now he's gonna take out his opponent. Again, in very undemocratic ways. I mean, normally Democratic Party is, oh well, I mean, you know, we, we want. I remember signs I think Ossoff had when he lost, like a pre-made sign that said civility. What? He wasted $20 million in that race, more than $20 million being civil. That is not how Ojeda rolls. This is how he rolls. I'm Richard Ojeda. Drug companies have made millions pouring their opioids into our communities, ripping apart our families. What has Carol Miller done? She's accepted campaign cash from the very same companies responsible. She's even profiting from this epidemic, an epidemic that has killed thousands of West Virginians. She actually owns stock in one of the companies responsible for it all, McKesson. I approve this message because Carol Miller's not gonna fight this opioid epidemic, but I will. <laughs> He's not playing, man. So another thing that Democrats don't normally do, I mean, like if you're gonna name your opponent and call her personally corrupt, oh my God, the mainstream media will yell at you. Come and get some, get some. Uh, Kara Miller is the daughter of a former US representative, Samuel Devine, ooh, I do declare. Uh, and she is currently a West Virginia House of Delegates member. Uh, and so um, normally that requires kid gloves, <laughs> again, not how Ojeda does things. Let's keep going. I'm Richard Ojeda, and I've been under fire multiple times in places like Iraq and Afghanistan. Tattooed on my back are the names of my brothers that did not come home. Now, my military record and my love of this country has come under fire once again by Carol Miller. How dare she, a millionaire who has enjoyed a life of privilege under the very freedoms that I have fought for. I approve this message because I love this country and I'm willing to fight for it, and you. Over, over, this race is over. 
Okay, let me explain something. I have not looked at the polls, and on purpose. Normally, I do analysis for you guys. I look at the polls, how are they standing, where are they going, etc. What is the district normally? Go? No, 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 not sight unseen. This race is over. That guy wins. He doesn't lose. Okay, so when he said that that the fallen soldiers were tattooed on his back, I, I in my mind, I was already doing this. This race is over, I'm calling it, okay? <laughs> the walk off from the camera, the way he said, Carol Miller, right? <laughs> it's, these are all the rules that make no sense at all. And look, if you're a regular person and you love this kind of stuff and, and you think, why do Democrats follow the nonsense rules that don't work? That's why they lost a thousand seats across the country in the last 10 years, over a thousand seats. So why do they keep doing the losing strategy? Because they get paid to do the losing strategy. Because, oh, don't talk about corporations, don't talk about corruption, don't fight back against the Republicans. Once you remove the corporate cash and you have an uncorrupted candidate, then you could just run to win. That's what he's doing. And that's what someone running to win looks like. Carol Miller, he's not done yet, hit him again. I'm Richard Ojeda and people say that I'm angry. Well, angry is an understatement. When I come home and I find that I got children in my backyard that have it worse than the kids that I saw in Iraq and Afghanistan, I can't accept that. When I see companies using bankruptcy loopholes to keep from paying our coal miners the pensions that they work for, I will not sit quiet. Ladies and gentlemen, we have been sold out. We've been sold out by people like Nancy Pelosi, Mitch McConnell, and the Washington Insiders. I approve this message because I am angry and I'm ready to fight back. Drop the mic already, Jesus Christ. Somebody throwing the towel for Carol Miller. <laughs> oh man, when he said, uh, some people say I'm angry, God damn right. I was like, yes, that's what I've been saying on the show for over 10 years. Can someone finally say angry? You're God damn right I'm angry, okay? you. I mean, you got kids in West Virginia suffering so badly, the streams are polluted. You've got uh, the corrupt politicians running everything. Some of you might not like it. A couple of things in there. Oh well, he said Nancy Pelosi. Nancy Pelosi. When they asked her why, why do you consider yourself, according to her own words, master legislator? Oh please, what have you gotten done? She said, Oh, that's because I raised the most money. Not interested. Not interested. So yeah, there's nothing wrong with calling that out. And and some of you might think it's too aggressive. Would you like to win or would you not like to win? That is a candidate that wins in West Virginia. How did the other candidates do when they run milk toast campaigns? Well, I mean, there's a guy, a couple of Democrats running in Kansas that said uh, the courage to lead from the middle. No, I'm sorry, it was leading from the middle and the courage to compromise. Ain't no courage to compromise with Richard Ojeda. You're not, here's who you're not gonna find in the middle of the road, Ojeda, okay? <laughs> but whoever he's coming for, you might find in the middle of the road. Okay, so now the exclusive. He's got a new ad, and it's uh, uh, going to be featured right now for the first time ever on the Young Turks. Let's watch. 10,000 gallons of toxic chemicals poured into the Elk River, threatening the health of 300,000 people. And what did Carol Miller do? She voted against monitoring the health of those sickened by the spill. Miller even supported legislation allowing corporations to dump more toxic chemicals into the water. No surprise, Miller's accepted thousands in campaign cash from corporations that profit by poisoning us. Crooked Carol Miller sold us out. I'm Richard Ojeda and I approve of this message. Crooked Carol Miller. Oh Well, you shouldn't do that, that's the kind of thing that the other side does. Yeah, the other side won a thousand seats, you lost a thousand seats. You know what, I don't mind her, him calling her name, she's earned it through her corruption. It's about time a Democrat stepped up and called it what it is. <laughs> VoteOjeta.com is the website, I think you're gonna wanna go to it. Uh, <laughs> there. Will we put up the links for donations and volunteers at the bottom of this video in the description box or comment section? Uh, yes, we will. Oh Well, you're not supposed to do that, you're supposed to be neutral. I am not neutral, that is exactly the kind of Democratic candidate that I like. That is strength. Republicans, there's a new kind of Democrat out there, an uncorrupted one. You ain't seen nothing like it before. Richard Ojeda and Winter are coming for you. Thanks for watching this free clip of the Young Turks. Don't forget to become a TYT member today. For more exclusive content, join now at tyt.com slash join.